are you guys doing today? So, I watch a lot of TV, as I'm sure you guys do. So, I um, thought this would be kind of interesting to hop on and say hi and see what you guys are up to today. Um, I literally just watched an episode of a show that really is interesting to me. So, to give you a little backstory, Chris and I met online through OkCupid like 10-ish years ago, okay? Um, and I just watched the episode of 90 Day Fiance, which I guess is another new um, concept, and it's the other way. So, essentially, people from America are going to whatever country their significant other is um, living in currently, but they haven't told their families, excuse me, like a hundred percent of the truth. So like, I don't want to spoil it for anyone that loves the show. I've never actually seen it before. Um, uh, I'm going to gather that the original, the OG 90 day fiance is where people from another country come to America and then marry Americans and stay here in America exactly no so I'm very green to this situation okay um I am let me just preface this by saying I'm down for love I love 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 is legit I'm in love I've loved a lot of people in my life I currently love people um I don't know who you are but you gotta go so, I'm watching the show, um, and essentially, there is a 60-year-old woman that's going to India after she got catfished. Um, there is a Mormon from Washington that has met a woman who has been in America for her visa. He's going to move to Ecuador. There's a girl in the Northeast that is going to South Africa who is currently engaged to a man who has been to jail for burglary and arson and her family doesn't know and she has a child. Um, there's also like, okay, who is, who else was in the show? Um, there's a guy who went to the Amazon, like basically Brazil, I think it was, and he met a girl there and married her, and then they were going to get a divorce, and then she found out she was pregnant, and then they unfortunately had a miscarriage, so he came back to America, and then she found out a month later that she was pregnant again, which is kind of basically almost an impossibility for... Like, life after a, a miscarriage, I guess. I mean, you could. It's just really weird. And so, like, he wants a DNA test. But he's thinking about going back to Brazil. I mean, this is insane. I think this is crazy. Now, albeit, I met my husband online. Got engaged. Wait. Moved in together after six months. Got engaged after ten months. Got married in, like, 18 months. So, like, I get the whole, like, I love you, we're together, we're going to do this deal. Like, I get that. Like, I am living proof. But, like, you're literally lying to your families about why you're going there, how long you're going to be there, what your intentions are. Half the time, like, the 60-year-old woman that got catfish basically was told that this guy's name was Michael Jones and then he turned out to be an Indian man from a call center. So, I mean, what? Do we not learn from Neve on MTV that this is oftentimes not good? Like, it's not always a good situation. Like, I'm fearing for these people to go to another country, which you have to stay for a significant period of time when you have a visa, whether it be a spousal visa or just a regular visa visa. Buckley's very concerned too because I'm fired up about it. It's fine. Your, your mom's okay. You do not need to. I'm okay. Thank you for checking. We're about to have a pit bull up in here, up in here. 
So yeah, like I just think, oh, I didn't mean to rotate my phone. Come back. Okay. Sorry. I'm getting some serious love right now. Okay. So, oh, he's just sitting. You're just going to sit with me? Okay. No, you're, you're, you're leaving. Sorry for the interruption from my, from my child. But have you guys seen this show? What are your thoughts? Like, I know it's like guilty pleasure TV. But I just don't know. I'm fearing for these people. Maybe it's because I'm from a small town in Indiana and I live in a bigger city in Texas. And so I've really only lived in like three places in my entire life. <gasps> but this is weird. I'm like, it's just an interesting concept. However, it may not be my interesting show to watch, but, but yeah, I want to know how you feel about it. And would you marry someone within like 90 days? I know people have. Like Kim Kardashian got married in like 27, right? And then she got divorced in like 80 to Chris Humphreys or something. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's weird. I just think it's weird. So I want to know how you feel about it. Do you watch this show? Have you ever done something like this? Like, I'm intrigued. So we'll see. Maybe you, I'll come back every Tuesday with like thoughts on television shows or a movie or something. Just call me a critic. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's, that's just interesting. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that comment from earlier. It said I'm the crush baby or something from a man from another country. So I had to block him. <laughs> Point taken. I don't know if you also looked at my profile and noticed that my husband is 6'4 and 260. So you ain't got nothing on him. Okay. Okay. All right, well, there's my Talk Tuesday on TV. So, I want to know your thoughts. If you watch 90 Day Fiance, tell me how you like it. If you're catching this on any other platform, let me know. Um, Yeah, I just think it's weird, and I don't really know if I can get into the show. But there is a second episode, so stay tuned. Maybe I'll watch it as I fold laundry. So, we'll see. <laughs> you never know. But drop your thoughts. Let me know. I think it's an interesting concept. However, I just don't think I could do it. What's that girl emoji where she just shrugs her shoulders? Yeah, I'll be her. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I think it's interesting. I'm fearing for these people. But to each their own. Love is love. And you must go after it. So, good luck to them. Godspeed. Here we go. All right. Join me next week. There might be another TV show to talk about. Who knows? I just thought maybe I'd see how you guys feel about it or have seen the show or something of that nature because I'm a little bit freaked out right now in regards to, like, this television show and that TLC has given these people the means to do this. I'm also procrastinating from washing dishes and folding this obnoxiously large pile of laundry. <laughs> okay. Hope you guys have an awesome Tuesday. Join me next week. Maybe we'll get Tuesday, T TV Tuesday off to a good start. Okay. I love you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Really though, I want to know how you feel about 90 Day Fiance. So, keep me posted. <laughs> if not, it's on TLC. Go watch it. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.